Welcome back. We're going to go over how to set up a blog as well as do blog posts inside Shopify. So let's jump into it. Creating a blog for your website is one of the most beneficial ways to set yourself as an authority figure in your own industry as well as to generate SEO content for people coming to your site. I'm going to show you how to set up blogs inside Shopify. So if we head over the dashboard, we can see we have our homepage here and where we find blogs is under online store. And when we click on online store, it's going to open up a navigation and we'll have a couple different items in here. Now let's go over blog posts. Shopify can support multiple blogs, so you don't have to just be stuck with one individual blog on your site. So if when you first get into blog posts, you see this link up in the top left hand corner here that says manage blogs. Once you go into manage blogs, you can have multiple blogs here. So we're going to show you how to set up a blog first. So we're going to add a new blog and this blog is going to be set up for uh, news articles or media. So we're going to call this one media. Uh, we're not going to use any feed burner at this time. And then you have your search engine uh, listings down below. First is page title. Whatever you put under page title, it'll show up automatically as your URL handle. If it's something that you're looking to uh, increase your SEO, which I highly recommend, you want to use some sort of keyword in this URL handle so that it shows up on your uh, or your, your, your listings when they show up inside Google. Uh, and then you can give it a meta description. So this is uh, media articles that have been posted about some, we'll just say some more. Uh, and then we can make our selection on what kind of comments we want to use. If we want to say comments are disabled, if we want comments allowed, pending moderation, or comments are allowed and automatically published. My recommendation is usually comments are allowed pending moderation. This is when you're starting off and you have the time and the bandwidth to moderate your comments. Once you get your blog gets super successful and you're unable to uh, moderate all the comments, then I would say comments are allowed with automatically that are automatically published. And then you can hit save. And what this will do is this will go and create you the blog. Once you've created the blog, now it's time to create a blog post for that blog. So let's create a blog post here. So a blog post is very similar to creating a page inside Shopify. It just has a couple of additional elements. Title as normal, the same as page, products, and categories, and the content is also the same as well. Um, the big difference with blogs is they come with a thing called an excerpt. Now an excerpt is a summary of the post that's going to appear on the home or blog page. If you don't fill out anything in the excerpt, most theme templates will take some sort of text from the blog post content, concatenate it, so shorten it, and then post it on to the site. This will only be overridden if you've added something here. So let me show you an example. Let's grab some lorem ipsum or some hipster ipsum as we usually use. title in there, we've got our uh, hipster ipsum in there as well, and now we are going to save this blog post because we're going to go and view the blog post without an excerpt in it. So let's go view the blog post and we can see this is what our blog post is going to look like on the specific uh, article page. Now if we want to go and look at the blog itself, so the listings of the articles, we're going to go to blog slash news and we can see this is our sample blog. Now it's important to remember when you first publish a blog, it's going to set it to hidden so that you can save it, create it, modify it, and then when you're ready you can hit visible. Once you hit visible, it will show up on the store and we can see this is our sample blog. Now let me show you what happens when we add in some excerpt types. So if we go in here and we go, we put some excerpt text in there and save it. and then we refresh the page, you can now see that the excerpt text has overwritten the, uh, the description text or the content text of the sample blog. So it allows us to be a little bit more specific of what we want to put in there. If we delete the excerpt text again and there's no, nothing in those, uh, those fields, it will compress it and it will revert back to the blog text, as you see here. All right. There's a couple other things to keep in mind. Uh, SEO is the similar as it 
normally was. And then comments are now posted down below. So you're going to have a section that will allow you to edit and handle comments uh, down below the actual blog post because comments are going to be attached to every single article, not to a post or not to an overall blog. If we hop over to the right hand side, we have a couple of additional options. We have a featured image, so we can go and add an image in here. And now when you reload it, the theme is going to recognize that you have an image that's been uploaded and it's going to change the layout a little bit and it's going to put it in the background as an image. Also, when you click on it, it's going to set the image across the top banner. So be careful of which image you choose because you want something that works well on both pages. Um, this is customizable, you can change this, but it usually requires a little bit of liquid coating and some modification in order to change that inside the theme. It's not just a simple uh, theme setting that you can change. All right, some of the last things that you need to know about on a blog post is organization. So um, you can select who is the author. This author comes from the settings where you have your account set up. So the number of people that you've invited to your store, um, those are the people who are gonna be set up here as the authors. So you may have to make sure that someone is set up as a user in order to show up as an author. And then finally, which blog that it's being posted to. Is it going to the news blog or is it going to the media blog? We actually want this to go to the media blog because we want it to go to its own separate blog that we set up. So I've gone and made that change. Now, if we come back over here and we have to change our slug at the top, um, this says news, we'll need to change this to media. And now we will come back to our media blog. So we can actually go and remove the handle of the blog itself. And we can see now we have our separated out media blog that's separate from our uh, regular up how to blog that we created before. And then again, we have our tags. So just like pages, and products we can tag individual posts so that they can be organized and pulled in later and we'll go over that in another lesson and that basically covers it for blogs thanks for coming by i hope this was helpful don't forget to hit the like subscribe hit the bell notification if that's something that you're into and we'll see you guys in the next one